welcome to mechanical tutorial i am going to teach you different techniques in solid works for mechanical engineers i am going to train you different modules like surface modeling sheet metal and enclosure design product design plastic components design reverse engineering and many more tips and tricks in solid works hi today i am going to explain how to create laundry detergent bottle with surfacing so this is the model i am going to show you how to create so let's start now i am in the new solidworks part file so i am going to create a sketch in the top plane select the ellipse sixty four ninety five See here sketch is not constrained, we have to constrain, we have select these three points and make it a vertical, so it is constrained now. Now I am going to create a plane. Ninety distance from the top plane. Here I am going to create one sketch. Take the lips here. Select all the three and make it vertical. Take a center line, join these two points. See, this one should be horizontal, and the distance between these two points is 2.5. This is 2.5. Now I'm going to constrain these dimensions. This is for reference. And vertical distance is 60. Say okay. See, we have two ellipses. Now I am going to create one more plane. Select this edge. Offset distance is 7.5. This is 20. Select this origin and this point. So make it horizontal. So this sketch is constrained now. Keep it in isometric. See. 
now i am going to create one loft feature so go to surface select lofted surface So you can move these control points to the center. For better alignment. So you can see in right side view. Now, see this bottle is very simple bottle so i am not using guiding curves in upcoming video i will create a few more complex uh, bottles then i am going to show you these guiding curves how to use these guiding curves to control the surface see this is the surface now i am going to create one more surface here I am going to take offset distance, flip the direction and this is 3 mm, say ok, come out of this cage, now select this cage, go to surface, extrude here i am taking 10 mm height say okay see here now i am going to hide the planes we have to fill this surface and bottom side see here both the direction so select the fill filled surface so this surface is filled now now i am going to select one second filled surface and here I have to select these two edges. See, it is now whenever we create a surface model, and once every surface has been created, then we have to check whether it is a single surface or multiple surface. If it is multiple surface, then we have to merge it. But before that, I am going to create this cutout. This is like a handle. So select the front plane. Create an center line very horizontal and inclined We have to verify whether it's horizontal or not. Now we have to give the angle. This is 60. See 
34 so distance from this point to origin is 20 and this is vertical distance is 78 See now I am going to create extruded surface. So mid plane, we make it 80. Now we have to trim the surfaces so select trim surface here mutual option is better say extrude is selected here and i'm going to select the lofted feature also now we have to select surface to remove so select this surface and this surface and inner surface this inner surface and say ok now as I told you earlier we have to verify the surfaces so before creating a solid body we have to join all these surfaces so we have to use knit surface and uh, straight away we can select all the surfaces don't select from the graphical window it's better to select from here so it is uh, not selected properly we have to verify how many surfaces are selected one two three four see it is it has become a single surface now we have to remove the sharp edges at this location and bottom side so we have to provide the minimum radius so i am taking 1 mm So now I am going to apply the thickened feature. Selected this. So here at this moment I am giving 1 mm. See when we see in front view, we have to verify whether it is going outside or inside. So it is going inside. So I am selecting the Taken side two.
So I'll show you in cross section. So this is how it looks like. So this is one of the simplest way to create laundry detergent bottle with a surfacing. Thank you very much.